Hi everyone. Yes, this is my cowboy hat. It's not a prop. I have several. I even have cowboy boots, roping boots. Um, I had a horse growing up and I listened to country music with my grandmother who loved country music. We would listen to it in the middle of the night on the radio, just like in the movies with a freight train sound in the background because we live close to the railroad tracks. But I'm doing this because what I think Beyonce is doing is brilliant. The album is brilliant. Have you heard it yet? Cowboy Carter, it dropped just the other day, and so many great songs. I really can't choose my favorite track. River Dance, Spaghetti, um, Ya Ya, Texas Hold'em. By the way, I did a Texas Hold'em dance video. I was too embarrassed to put it on the internet. Should I do it? But this album goes beyond music. There is a story here. The story goes like this. 2016, Beyonce gets this frosty reception at the CMA Awards, where she sang Daddy Lessons alongside the Chicks, which used to be the Dixie Chicks. Long story, look it up. Some older, wider, and more conservative country music fans were not happy about Beyonce daring to sing for them. So this album is a big ol', as we say in the South, bless your heart to all of them. And it's an effort to educate people about the legacy of black artists in country music. Black artists actually help, if not created, country music. They've always been a part of the genre. From Charlie Pride to Darius Rucker, from Ray Charles to Tracy Chapman, from, remember the Commodores, sail on down the line. Black artists have accomplished a lot in this genre, despite the racism in the country music industry. Remember when Lil Nas X saw Old Town Road removed from Billboard's hot country songs because it didn't embrace enough elements of today's country music? Or how when Jason Aldean filmed a music video, knocking Black Lives Matter, did it outside of a courthouse where a black man was lynched in 1927. Well, some folks have made it very clear that they don't think that black people belong in country music, which would be funny if it weren't racist, because the instrument that literally became the banjo, the core of country music, was invented in Africa and came to America in the hands of slaves. The history is fascinating. I'm just over the moon that Beyonce is shedding light on all of this. So let me know in the comments, what's your favorite song on the album? Did you like her cover of Jolene, Jolene, Jolene? And what do you think is next for Queen B? And also, should I put my corny Texas Hold'em video on the internet, the dance? I did it. Let me know. Ha, 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 ha.